Hi Aquarius, this is your June 24th through the 30th weekly tarot reading will help five separate spreads in this weekly reading. In the first spread we'll be looking at new love entering your life. Um, uh, the second spread is for those of you who are already involved with somebody. In the third spread uh, we'll see if anybody wants to get back together with you. After that we'll talk about your work, your business and your finances in the fourth spread. And the final, the fifth spread will be what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, comment, and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week. Uh, we have uh, the Fool clarified by the Queen of Swords. We have the Ace of Cups clarified by the Ace of Swords. Then we have the Eight of Wands clarified by the Three of Wands. In the potential outcome, we have the Six of Swords with the Knight of Cups and the Nine of Cups. And uh, we have Strength on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, maybe a Water Sign. Maybe another air sign. <laughs> um, yeah. You know what, Aquarius? This whole spread is talking about one thing and one thing only. This spread is talking about you saying yes to someone. This spread is talking about you taking a risk, taking a leap of faith with somebody. This spread is talking about you following your heart. That's what this whole spread is about. All these cards, all these cards are talking about what I just said. Okay? <laughs> yeah, we start with you, all the way to your left, the Queen of Swords. I assume that's you. I, I think it's a fair assumption, right? And uh, the Queen of Swords is clarifying the Fool. The Fool could be an Aries here, gentlemen, but the Fool is a card of taking a leap of faith, taking a risk, just going for something, just doing something, you know, because of love. Because of literally love, because the next card I came out is the Ace of Cups. And uh, in the potential outcome, we have the Knight of Cups in the middle. The potential outcome is like a mirror, it's like a repeat of what we see in the main spread on the left. It, it just, different cards, same point, same idea. Right? That's what you're doing. You're following your heart. The Ace of Cups is true, genuine, authentic love. And uh, the Knight of Cups is the most romantic, the most loving, the most caring knight out of all four knights. And uh, the Ace of Cups is clarified by the Ace of Swords. So one Ace clarified by another. And the Ace of Swords often comes through as the word yes. You're saying yes to love. <laughs> you're taking a leap of faith. You're taking a risk because perhaps both of you are in love with one another. You're definitely going to be falling <laughs> in love with this person. Right, the strength on the bottom of the deck, all the way to your right, could be a card of a Leo. You could be dealing with a Leo, right? But strength could be a card of courage. Courage to take a leap of faith. Courage to, to risk this. Courage to follow your heart. All right, in the middle we have the Eight of Wands, clarified by the Three of Wands. The Eight of Wands is the Cupid's Arrows card, so I guess it's all Cupid's fault. <laughs> all right? Um, and uh, it's also a card of maybe literally going somewhere, right? It's one of the fastest cards in the deck. And uh, the Eight of Wands, um, yeah, it's uh, it's a really fast card. The Three of Wands, clarifying that is a card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision. This decision is final, and again, for the tenth time, this is you making a decision to go for it, to take this leap of faith. And uh, in the potential outcome, besides the Knight of Cups in the middle, we also have the Six of Swords, and the Six of Swords is pretty much the same as the Eight of Wands. Again, this is you moving forward. Maybe you're leaving something or someone behind so you could be together with this person. Or maybe they're doing that. Or maybe both of you are leaving something or someone behind so the two of you could be together. Maybe you're moving in. Maybe you're both of you are traveling, going somewhere far away. Right? And uh, the Nine of Cups right next to the deck, the very last card that came out, there is a card of a wish come true. That's what it's all about. It's a wish come true. Wish is being granted. But perhaps in order for you to... Um, to get your wish granted, you have to take a risk, take a leap of faith, leave something or someone behind. But again, for the 20th time, you're doing it because it's worth it, because of love. All right. Yeah, um, Aquarius, that's pretty much it. Like I said, this whole spread is you going for it, following your heart, because you believe it's going to uh, be something, something that you uh, have always perhaps wished for or hoped for. Okay, Aquarius, really happy for you. Congratulations. If you are already in a relationship or married, um, Aquarius, this spread is for you. We have the Three of Wands, the Two of Cups, the Hierophant, and uh, the Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing mm, uh, with a Taurus or Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. To be honest with you, Aquarius, it kind of looks like the previous spread. 
then you'll love spread. <laughs> All right, the only exception, only difference, I guess, is the Hierophant right next to the deck, which is a card of marriage, which is a card of a commitment, which is a card of something formal, official, traditional, religious, spiritual. Um, so maybe you are deciding to move in together. Maybe you're deciding to take it to the next level, to get married. All right? Yeah, or maybe you are, I don't know, let me know in the comments down below. Maybe it has something to do with religion or education. The hyphen could also be education. But uh, yeah, the Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck is uh, the most loving and caring knight out of all four knights. Right? So it could be like a very loving gesture coming from either you or your person or maybe both of you <laughs> prepared something very loving towards one another for, for each other. The three of ones is a card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision and this decision is final. And the two of cups is a card of a, to a soulmate connection. We have two people in the two of cups, that's you and your person. It's a card of unconditional love. It's a card of when, when two people are on the same page. And the Hierophant we already talked about. Perhaps both of you are getting on the same page about the Hierophant. Whatever the Hierophant means in your case. And again, it could be a card of marriage, tradition, education, religion, spirituality. And maybe you're getting on the same page about that and moving forward. Alright? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Aquarius, this week. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent next. We have Death. Clarified by the Ten of Swords, we have the King of Cups, clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, we have Judgment, and uh, we also have the Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing uh, with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, we also have Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Well, the King of Cups is back. It almost feels like um, one of those times when grass wasn't greener on the other side. Okay? Because this person is like breaking up with somebody, of getting into a huge major fight with somebody and leaving, slamming the door on the way out so they could come back to you. That's how it feels. Okay, because we have Death clarified by the Ten of Swords, the first two cards on your left, and the Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck. I think those three cards, this is what's happening. This is what this King of Cups is doing. They're breaking up with somebody, ending it with somebody, and they're ending it this way, so there is no way of recovery from that. And uh, they're back, right? The King of Cups is the person coming back. Uh, could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but uh, they're clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. They may also have Earth in their chart, so it could be Water, Earth, right? But at the same time, uh, the Knight of Pentacles is a very serious offer. So to be fair to this person, the offer is serious. I don't know if you're going to care <laughs> about how serious the offer is, but it is. It's a serious offer. The Knight of Pentacles usually is the most serious, grounded, long-term oriented knight out of all for knights. Right at the end we have Judgment, right next to the deck. Judgment is a card of somebody coming back from the past, and at the same time it's a card of somebody having to make a judgment call. So I think in this case, yeah, the ball is going to be in your court. Unless both of you already agreed that this person will, you know, get out of another relationship or marriage so they could come back to you. Alright, so, yeah, one interesting spread. So I don't know how long it's been since the, since you and this person broke up, but now they're breaking up with the, somebody else and coming back to you. Alright, cool. Let's talk about your work, the business, and your finances, Aquarius, this week. Uh, we have the Seven of Cups, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune, the High Priestess, the Six of Swords, and the Two of Wands on the bottom of the deck. This will most likely resonate with you, Aquarius, if you are... Um, maybe secretly either planning to move on or maybe you're in the final stages of preparation to move on or you could be going to like job interviews and you're not telling anybody all right <laughs> you're definitely looking at options whoever this is applicable for the you are looking at options right because the Seven of Cups, the first card I came out, and the two ones on the bottom of the deck, that's exactly that. Looking at options. Okay, perhaps with the Seven of Cups, you're literally looking on one of those um, job posting sites, and you're scrolling through different postings, and uh, you're going to apply for jobs, or you're just going to save them, right, for later. Um, the Wheel of Fortune, clarifying the Seven of Cups, you're, you're looking to move on, you're looking for, to start a cycle. You're looking maybe to go somewhere. Maybe you're looking to relocate. The High Priestess 
in the middle could be interpreted as a card of a secret. So if you're currently employed, you're obviously not telling your existing employer you're doing this, right? But we've all done that. And uh, the Six of Swords right next to the deck, you're either already moving on, or since this was the last card I came out, it could be that's what's going to happen in the near future once you have found the job. All right, and uh, the Six of Swords could be you going to interviews or one particular interview. Okay, maybe you already got a new job lined up, but your new job requires for you to relocate. So maybe you're looking at a new place to live, a new residence. So you could move and start your job, start your new job. All right, cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Aquarius. We have the Five of Pentacles, clarified by the Ten of Wands. We have the Nine of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So this could be directly or indirectly related to you. What I mean by that, it could be happening to you or maybe somebody you know. Because this is supposed to be something unexpected to you. <laughs> Alright, so what's happening here is someone's uh, financial situation is about to drastically improve throw some kind of a partnership or an alliance or maybe simply getting a job. Alright, that's what this part is about. Finances, getting better for someone. You or someone you know. Alright, so we start with the Five of Pentacles, the Five by the Ten of Wands. The Five of Pentacles, in this case, is literally not having enough money, struggling financially or being unemployed. The Ten of Wands, clarifying that is a card of a struggle. So, no money and struggle. Alright, so here comes the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. It could be money literally coming in. I don't know, maybe a government assistance, or a job, or um, a promotion, or um, a business opportunity, right? And uh, in the middle, the Nine of Pentacles is, is the uh, card that is completely opposite from the Five of Pentacles, right? The Nine of Pentacles is a card of somebody who is doing very well financially. <laughs> so the Five of Pentacles is a card of somebody who is struggling financially. The Nine of Pentacles is somebody who is doing fine with their money. All of this is through that Ace of Pentacles, right? The offer or money just literally coming in. And uh, the Two of Cups right next to the deck. It's uh, as I, I always interpret it as a handshake card. Handshake card when it comes to work, business, and finances. So somebody's going to come in and uh, it could be literally a handshake or it could be you simply signing for something, right? Or agreeing to something. But there's definitely, it's the, the money is not going to, fall down uh, from the sky, right? It's it's coming from somebody, <laughs> or, gonna, or, or organization, a government organization or, or a private organization. All right, so yeah, um, that's what I have for you, uh, Aquarius, for this reading, for this week. <laughs> if this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also comment, uh, comment and subscribe. And other than that, Aquarius, have an amazing week.